dive off the deep end, deep end No, I don't need a reason, reason to lose control Pour me a glass, I toss it back Forget responsibility It's hard to be Beautiful morning for it. Let's get out there while the tides uh, still have it at home. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in one of our usual local spots, you know, that we're about 20 to 25 k's off the uh, South Passage Bar, northeast direction, in about 85 meters, and uh, we're doing a bit of bottom bashing with a bit of bait, a bit of live bait, and I've just put on a jig actually to see if I could uh, catch something. I've just been catching a bit of rubbish fish, and I'll show you some of the action so far. I've been away for a couple of weeks and haven't been able to get out on the water, but uh, we've got a really nice weather for it today, and I'll try to stick around as long as I can and see if I can catch some uh, table fish. Uh, already caught a few fish today, but mostly rubbish fish, and um, I'll show you the action of that in a second. But look, I just want to say thank you to all the regulars that keep coming back to the channel. I do appreciate your support, and I hope that um, you're finding this series entertaining maybe a little bit educational as well, informative. Um, look, if there's anything you want me to uh, show you on a video, please put it in the comments below the video and I'll definitely read all your comments and maybe answer them if I need to. Anyway, stick around, let's see how we go. Yep. like waves on over there too. Some fish, this one. Might be a tuna though, it's beating like a tuna. It was up the water column. See the rod shaking, the tail beating. Could be a tuna bonito or something. coming up now. Be nice if it was a good fish. <laughs> but it is back tuna season. <laughs> So you never know, do you? Yep. Big Mac tuna. Not what we want. Not what we want. I think I might try to release him in the water. Oh, yeah. oh, he's tangled. Now he's gone. <laughs> Thank you. 
seen it? Seen it? Yeah, I think it's just another tuna. It's that time of year, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe. No, it's just a big back tuna, I think. Yeah. Back tuna. Might bring him on board. Two hooks in. It's not going anywhere. That's my hammer jig. Bit of stainless bar. Couple of hooks, this is Rob. He can go back. Oh, okay, show us the game. Yeah, it's a decent size, hey. Right under us, are they? Oh, I'll give it a go. What are you, baby? Little snapperish. Oh boy, when you're fishing 85 meters plus. Oh boy, it's a long line up. <clears throat> what have we got? Oh, yes, yeah, a nice, a good snapper. Good snapper, he's hooked well. Oh, yes, as they say, that's what we're here for. These are 65, 65 centimeters. Yes, the guts are coming out. I don't think you're going to survive anyway, buddy. It was an aggressive hit and uh, nice catch, one in the bag. having a sandwich. What have we got here? Something swimming up. What have we got? Oh, that's a nice stepper. Not huge, but not a bad size. Legal. Another little snapper. 
is a legal size, good, good fillets on that, nice pan size sort of, as they call them. Running about 45 centimeter that one. Doesn't look very big, but it's 45. <laughs> Oh, nice spot here. I might just mark this spot. Wow. Reasonable fish. I it's a nice snapper. Oh. What have we got? What have we got? It's uh, got a little bit of weight in it. Just being careful that I don't pull the hooks. It could be a big pearly. Now it's a big, a good snapper. Oh, very nice snapper. Oh yes. And that's a snapper. Whew. It's a big one. Two hooks at him, he wasn't going anywhere. Whew. So I went back to the old um, floating, floating uh, bait. What do you call it? Float lining. <laughs> oh, he's a big one. I don't know how big this is, but it's definitely in that sort of 70 size. Wow. All right, well, that's sort of made the day a little bit better. Let's see if I can pick him up. First of all, measure it. Yeah, he's on the sort of 72 sort of size. There we go. That's a decent snapper. And he's been brain spiked, so he's... Uh, the docile. You can see the blood coming out of there for where our brain spiked it. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> Look at that mid water column there. Look at that. That's probably snapper. You're ready for a, a mid water strike. I don't think it's quite as big though. Well, we don't want one over 70 anyway, do we? <laughs> this one feels like about a 40 something, 50. It's having a good dig though. Where are you, snapper? Oh, here it comes. Oh, 
Oh yeah. He's all right. About the fifties. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, it's going about 62. So there you go, guys. I've got my bag of snapper now. Oh, this is the noises he's making. <laughs> Well, the day turned into something a little bit special after all. I really thought it was going to be a bit of an average day there, a bit of a slow start for me with a couple of Mac tuna and things. I'm very happy with uh, the way it turned out after all. It really seemed like all the guys had a, a good day out, actually. They all seemed to get some good sized snapper today. You know, I got a couple on the jigs and a couple on the float lining, so it shows you when, you know, one technique's not working for you, you might as well mix it up and try something else. It's quite a distance from the ramp. It's about... Uh, 25 k's to the South Passage Bar from our ramp and then about another 20 k's out here to fish the 80 meter zones. But it's generally worth it, um, you know, with the cost of fuel we, we want to go somewhere where we kind of have a pretty good chance of getting some decent fish so this is why we come out here. And it's also a bit of an adventure getting out on the skis and um, you know, so far away from home and so far out at sea on your own it's always a great, great experience out here. And it's good to have some friends, you know, we had Mark Shane, Wade and Steve out today. I think they all did pretty well today. So uh, I'm sure we'll see their photos on Facebook tonight. Anyway, it's after 12.30 now, we better get going. So thanks for joining us again. See you next time.